love growing our own food, but what if you could also grow a little extra with it and have yourself a little fry up at the end of the season? Well, we're going to learn a lot about that today, talking with Mark Kursky of Gardens of Babylon here at the Nashville Lawn and Garden Show. Well, Mark, you have a setup that I really haven't seen before here. Uh, we've got tanks with live animals in we them. We do. We've got a uh, tank with uh, some uh, live tilapia, uh, which serves as uh, the fertilizer for all these wonderful plants here. Well, we've got, uh, I guess, really a hydroponic setup here, much different than ones I've seen before, and certainly a nice natural addition. It looks like we're growing a little salad to go later with uh, our fish dinner. Absolutely. So, explain to me how all of this works. Well, basically, we have a, a holding tank for the fish. It's kind of like an aquarium, per se, and uh, that's our storage facility. So the waste from the fish is then pumped into these growing beds here. Uh, this would be, if we pull back this uh, mix right here, this is our inlet back over here. And you can probably see it's just a very small inlet. And uh, this tray actually measures about seven inches deep. What happens is this is on a timer, which comes on about eight times a day for 30 minutes. And what happens is when the pump kicks on, this whole table will flood. And uh, when that flood, that supplies all the nutrients from the fish waste uh, into this growing bed. After it's, during, uh, during uh, its uh, run, it runs out the end of this little exhaust over here, this little drain. So for 30 minutes, this is constantly cycling and cleaning the water from the fish, which also supplies all the nutrients for the plants. It's a very simple system, so not only are we growing uh, fresh vegetables and herbs, we're also growing fish as well. Wow, and so it's totally soilless here. Totally soilless. And uh, these look like lava rocks, but they're not, are they? No, they're not. They're called, uh, a lot of people refer to them as a hydrox. And what a hydrox is, it's uh, just very lightweight clay that's baked almost, you know, kind of like porcelain. And uh, the thing about the hydrox that you'll notice is a lot of irregular shapes. Now, we want those irregular shapes because that leaves a lot of porous material um, in between, a lot of air spaces. And that's where all these roots from the vegetables can grow and really wind their way out and um, pick up all these nice nutrients. So we have lettuces, we have some kale, we have uh, celery that we're growing. We do. Now, now celery, I understand, is sort of hard to grow here in our clay. It is. So. And you know, with celery, uh, we were trialing some celery. We're going to be trialing all kinds of different vegetables and fruits and herbs and different things like that. So we thought we'd try some celery because in order to grow celery, you really need that loamy soil, that really loose soil. And you can't get any looser than this. So we're going to try it. Uh, it seems to be doing really well uh, since we put it in a couple of weeks ago. So uh, we'll just give it a little time and see what happens. Well, it's a wonderful recycled system. The tilapia fish, let's talk about them. Um, you know, I've certainly seen them on my dinner plate sure, before, and sure. I've seen them in the store. <laughs> but uh, uh, why are we choosing tilapia for this particular application? Tilapia is a very hardy fish. Uh, it's pretty much the, the fish of choice for the aquaculture community. And uh, the, the thing about, um, about the uh, tilapia is that it uh, maintains a temperature of about 82 to 86 degrees. So it's a great uh, summer fish that you could have uh, growing all summer long. It takes, when, when you get the fish, normally they're gonna be you know, little you know, fish about maybe two to three inches long. It takes about eight to 12 months before you can start harvesting. So you could start harvesting the smaller ones um, anywhere up to 12 months. All right, so I've got my fish in there, and how many can I hold in that tank? This is a 275-gallon tank. Um, you could probably work with about 100 fish in that tank. The one thing that's very important is always use a food-grade plastic. This is a food-grade plastic that we use as our, our tray. This is also a food-grade storage tank. All the fittings, all the hoses, everything that we use is all food-grade. So there's not going to be any toxics uh, coming from the plastic itself. You have a heater in there for the fish. You have an air stone in there which supplies the oxygen to the fish as well as supplying more oxygen to the plants. And uh, maybe a, just a simple timer that comes on eight times a day. 
and there you go. That's all you need. I mean, it's a it's an extremely simple system for a do-it-yourselfer to be able to put together in an afternoon. You can see more of the aquaculture setup and see how it's going this year by going out to the Nashville Farmers Market, where you can see Gardens of Babylon and talk with them about how to do your own fish and food setup at your house.